Hello everybody, welcome to Fruitful Trees, and I got a treat for you today. Check this tree out, look at that. That is a jackfruit tree, and there's jackfruit hanging up there. But you're not gonna find this anywhere else because it's a seedling of a jackfruit. And I was recently at the Raft Fruit Council Palm Beach County Fair uh, fruit sale, and I met my friend Zane, who has a nursery called Zane's World, and we're here right now in Zane World. He gave me one of these seedling fruits to taste, and it's one of the best jackfruits I've ever had. It was absolutely amazing. And I'm gonna show you a clip of me tasting that fruit in a little while here. Uh, but there's some fruit on this tree here. So we're gonna go see Zane now. He's gonna tell us a little about the history of this tree, this seedling of what it's a seedling of and so on. So let's go visit him now. Here's Zane and uh, Zane, uh, thanks for welcoming us to your paradise here. And uh, Zane has a nursery. I'm gonna put the link below the video to that. Uh, but this is, uh, how old is this jackfruit tree? I'd say it's five to six years old. Okay. So and it's, and because it's a seedling and it's like seedling vigor where all it wants to do is go up and I'd rather have it go up than take up a bigger area because I, on the other hand, unlike Paul, am not the biggest fan of this fruit. So I, I like crunchy jackfruit. Um, so I don't need get a million fruits off it, but yet it still wants to produce a million fruits for me. Now, most people tell me don't, let a jackfruit grow this high because how are you going to get a jackfruit like a big heavy jackfruit off that but these grow smaller these jackfruits aren't like the 50 pound ones you'll get yeah, they, these, these ones are, get about 40 pounds at most oh also, they do get that's it also that big, but, yeah. but also zane's young and so he can climb yeah i climb this tree and i pick fruits from wherever and if i don't pick them they smash in the ground like all the seeds you see and then the animals eat them now we, free we, chicken feed we had a conversation about this tree and we talked about lopping it down and use and making it smaller so that we could uh, get to the fruit better but because it's not a fruit that we really sell the fruit that much of and it's not our, our favorite to eat just because it's the softer variety some people you know, I mean like you love the soft variety but what happens is if we cut it down lower it's going to take up more floor space so it either has to go out or it has to go up so we decided to just let it go up and anything we can't reach we just won't reach it. I mean, I will probably cut it off now. Yeah, but so that's tall. high. How tall do you think it is? 40 feet. At 40 feet, and there's one all the way up there. Look yeah. at that. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, that one's But there's right. a lot on these heavy branches down here. Yeah. yeah, so this tree produced, I'd say it produced 45 fruits this year. And yeah, I picked probably about 20 of them, and, and there's probably only about, what, 10 left? Now, not all seedlings are going to grow this great, so everyone knows. Some might not even grow fruit, but this one five years old happens to be uh, an amazing one what was it a seedling of do you remember we think we're pretty sure it's a black gold seedling but it's probably like a cross so it because it's a seedling a it's different and it's probably a cross between maybe a china so that is why it's even softer but right. yeah, because it's got the large black gold round leaves yes i see so you're gonna climb this now yeah, and get us yeah, a, a ripe one i'm gonna climb the tree i'm gonna see if there's any ripe fruits Usually, as we drive we by, might, here we might have car. a present for Paul in a second. Oh, nice. already got one. Usually, as we come by here, we can smell them. So catch. All right. Mm. Wow, wow. That's See, that's amazing. a nice, perfect size. Go. Yes. And look at him going up there like a monkey. Only at Zane's world. He, you can't even see him in this 40 foot tree, and he must be 30 oh, feet. Oh, he's getting there. the one that you said you couldn't even get. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's not right. Wait, wait, stay up there. I want to film you up there. Look at him up there. <laughs> All right. Come on down. Be careful there, buddy. <laughs> All right. That only took about 10 seconds. Yes. Well, as he said, he's gotten about 40 uh, different uh, fruits off of this tree this year. And I already had one of them I'm going to show you. That was amazing. They need to propagate this because this isn't just a we seedling. Do have some seedlings another one. They're like a. They do have seedlings for sale in their nursery of this tree. You ready? Oh yeah. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Ah. Oh. All righty. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah, you can smell them when you're up there. Yeah, the time. I went past this one right here. I think it's right. No, the one right next to it. And and not all other jackfruits are in season right now, but this one is. Another is it always this season or did it fruit more than once a year? Uh, no idea. I guess it's probably all the, it seems like there's one big season. 
Well, not many other jackfruits are in season at the moment, right? Uh, some of the reds start coming in now. Oh, got another one. Oh, looks wow. like you're going to go home with a lot. Oh, that sounds good to me. Oh, we, sh we should tell them about the uh, the freeze drying of this one. Yes. Now, we... Or even dehydrating, either or. Yeah, right, so... I'll wrap up in the small one so you all can see right here. So, I, we said that, you know, this isn't necessarily... Look at that. That's good. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, see how soft yeah. and easy as it comes out? It's... I mean... That, it is good. <laughs> no, that's I mean, better than good. I mean, like you that's know, better than good. I guess I guess you know when I said that I'm not this is I'm not the biggest fan of this one. I just don't like that it's not crunchy. You know, when I a lot of times when I tell people that are jackfruit people when they're eating this one, I said you have to come at this from the aspect of don't expect it to be quite like a jackfruit because when you know when you go and you it's better you have an expectation for it to be crunchy and everything like that. I go think of it as a completely different fruit. I mean, like this, like a durian or something like that. And it's, 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 and it's just sweet and tart. And I mean, it's, it, it's very, very good. Sweet, sweet, very sweet. Yes. Mm. And they have seedlings of this. Now, here's the thing. The seedling, you don't know what you're going to get from the seedling, but do you have any grafted one of these? Not, not yet. yet. Not yet. You will. We right? will. Yeah. You I will. Mean, because and you'll invite me back here to let everyone know they can get exactly. these when you have them grafted. Because you've shown an interest and in a lot of people that have eaten it, once we kind of get them to think of it not as the crunchy jackfruit that they're expecting, they begin to go, wow, we really like that one. So It, it kind of grows on you. Yeah. Only problem is like you can only eat so much of it. No, that's not I, I get very I get very full when I eat like Sheena type jackfruits. Like if I eat regular jackfruits, I can eat a lot more. The Sheena type really kind of fill me up and keep me full. Well, me and my neighbor, my neighbor Rom said this was uh, one of our favorite jackfruits we've ever had. So when you're grafties, let us know. We both want one and and well, you guys can name it too. Yeah, that's right. Yes. And, well, I remember we were talking about the freeze drying. Yes. Paul had some of the freeze dried stuff of this because our friend, yes. we gave one of these to our friend and he freeze dried it. He said, it, unfortunately, because it's so wet, it took twice as long to freeze dry. It took two days to freeze dry instead of a single day. But when we ate it the other day, it was like, or when we just ate it, it was, it was like foam. It was, yeah. it was just sweet. It had no fiber. Absolutely it wasn't amazing. hard. It just broke down like that freeze dried ice Melted cream. Melted in your mouth. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it, you could literally just kind of like suck on it and it would yes. like. Yeah. Everything's good about this. So anyway, this is, uh. An amazing seedling jackfruit, uh, and it would be great if all seedlings turned out like this. But if they don't, there's a bunch on here, and yeah. I definitely. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're not proponents generally of people growing seedling trees because you don't know what you're going to get, and we grow a few of them just because we have a few acres. And if you've got a, if you've got a big yard, go for, you know plant a couple of of good ones. If you eat a good fruit, even a mango, you can grow one. The problem is, is the people that, you know, oh, I'm going to grow all my trees from seed. And then you end up with a lot of ones that fruit at the same time. You end up with, you know, ones that are mediocre, mediocre flavor, not necessarily disease resistant, not heavy producers. You never know if you're going to hit the jackpot or you're going to end up spending more money cutting the tree down. If you got a big yard and you want to experiment a couple of times, but like somebody like you, you wouldn't want to, no, you know, no. you, you couldn't invest, all the time. you couldn't like, invest no. four or five years, six years into a tree and then have it be taking up valuable space in your yard and then and then find out it's all it's a waste of exactly of effort. i mean sometimes you even buy grafted trees or or varieties that people say are great and yeah. you still take them down because exactly. they're not right for you and you you determine i've got only x amount of space and i want to have exactly what i want to have and so well this one is the jackpot and if anyone wants to get on a waiting list for when they do graft these uh, contact Zane's World. I'll put the information below the video for a waiting list. And when they do come out with a grafted uh, version of this unnamed so far, uh, it'll be ready to go. How's that? This is amazing. And uh, I am serious. Uh, contact them and let them know you. If enough people contact them and tell them they want a grafted one of these, uh, they'll do it quicker. But this is top notch. I had a, a China jackfruit, which I actually, same consistency, very soft. Uh, and completely different flavor than that. That had a different smell, a different flavor. But this is the same consistency, but sweetest, the sweetest jackfruit I've had. And uh, again, if you like the hard kind, some people just detest soft jackfruit, but I love it. It's great. Look at this. I was blessed. Yesterday, I was at the Raft Food Council sale they were setting up, and I saw my friends from 
Zane's World Nursery here in Florida. And they gave me this fruit. Now this fruit is a seedling of a black gold jackfruit, they think. And they had a bunch of them. And they said they have so many more on that tree. And I'm going to try to get out there and, and get some more, but also do a video on the tree. Uh, as far as I know, it's not for sale. However, they have a lot there. So I'm going to taste this. And I figured I'd come here and taste it with you. And they said you could just peel it. You don't need a knife for it. They told me it was very soft. And there it is. So they were explaining it to me that it's like a soft, like a chompadak, and it is because as you see, I could peel this. Now, I had a video that I just posted on my uh, Chinay jackfruit, which is like a chompadak and soft like this and actually looks like these, but smells, mine smells so much amazing better. These doesn't smell bad, but mine has such a unique smell, but this is more lemony uh, in terms of the color, but let's taste it. All right, so it's nowhere near like the Chine jackfruit that I have in terms of taste or uniqueness of taste. However, I like that it's easy to peel. There's no latex and it is very sweet. Now, I know a lot of people don't like soft jackfruit, but I love soft jackfruit, and this is really good. And this is from a seedling of a black gold. And that just gives you an idea of, even though the jackfruit is true to seed, of how different a seedling can be from the actual true jackfruit. So if you have the room to grow a seedling, wonderful. But if you don't have the room to grow a seedling and you try to put one in, you could potentially be wasting the space because you don't know for years if you're going to get a good variety or not. So the good thing about this variety is it fruits a lot. They said they must have 40 on their tree. I don't know how big the tree is, but I'll go and I'll do a video out there. But as a matter of fact, what I'll do is uh, I'll do the video and put this tasting at the end of the video. That's what I'll do. But it's it's good it's really good i'd be i would be satisfied more than satisfied with this tree in my yard so i don't know if they're, they're going to graft them or not zane's world you can look them up I'll put their information below if you want to ask them if they can graft one for you. But I've tasted a good amount of jackfruit. This tastes nothing like a Champadoc to me. The only characteristics that it has of the Champadoc is it's easy to peel, no latex. Uh, and you can do it with your hands, you don't need a knife. And it's small, the size. But it's an excellent jackfruit. Very sweet. All right. So I'm going to do this video backwards, depending when you're seeing this. I'm going to go out to the farm and test this and then add this tasting to the end of it. But very good. Very good. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Remember to like and subscribe and get on out to Zane's World if you're in the South Florida area. And I'm thankful they gave this to me. I needed something good for breakfast today. A wonderful, wonderful fruit. Thank you, Zane's World. And uh, hopefully they'll graft this tree because it is worth it. They'll have to give it their own name, but it is worth having this graft. Now the seedlings, again, I don't know how the seedlings will turn out, but this is worth it, in my opinion. Very nice. All right, I got some of this jackfruit my neighbor to taste he has a bunch of tropical fruit in his yard i'm always having him on the videos look at his sapodilla tree wow 
This yard's amazing. All right, here's the seedling drag fruit. This comes from uh, uh, Zane. Zane's place is a seedling tree. So try that. Let me know what you think of that. All right. They're all nice and small and round. Mm. You really, like it? Really good. Really good. Mm. If he grafted those, would you get a tree? Mm -hmm. Wow. And, and, and there's no latex, and you can open that with your hand. You don't even need a knife. Love it. So sweet. There must have been about 40 on a tree, he said. And he climbed the tree. It was a 40 foot tree. Yeah, I was out there looking at the tree yeah. a couple of weeks, a month ago, maybe. Yeah. It's excellent. This jackfruit is so good, even cats like them. Check that cat, a cat eating jackfruit. Never seen that before, but this is one smart cat. The cat is eating jackfruit. That's how good it is.